Good day. Today I'm going to demonstrate how I record arcade gameplay in MAME Plus. The easiest way to do this would be to just play a game and record straight to AVI. However, there could be some lag while simultaneously playing a game and recording an uncompressed AVI, which can interfere with gameplay. That's where the record input function comes in handy. Recording input won't cause any lag during play and the input can be played back and recorded to AVI later. Before we start, it's important to note that unlike most other main builds, the main plus I'm using here didn't come with every single folder already set up in the main directory. Instead, it normally generates most of the folders itself when needed. For the purposes of this exercise, we just need to make sure that there is an INP folder and a SNAP folder in the main directory. If not, then create new folders and name them correctly. To begin, I'll now choose a game that I know will work with this method no problems. Good old Final Fight. So, I right click the game and choose Record Input, then the play window opens up. If necessary, use the Browse button next to the Record Input section to set the path to the main plus INP folder. Mine's already set up, so I can just press OK here and play for a while. Once I'm done, there will be a nice little Final Fight input file in my INP folder. Now to play back the input and record it to AVI. I go File, Play with Options, Playback Input, Select and open the Final Fight input file that just got made. And now I'm at the play window again. The trick here is to get a path in the Record AVI output section, which is blank at this stage. To do this, I browse to the Snap folder and cancel straight out of it. The correct path then appears back in the play window. I press OK and Main Plus commences playing back the input and recording it to AVI. Of course, there could be some lag during this process, but it doesn't matter now because I'm not directly playing the game. The AVI that gets made will play back at the proper speed. Once that's done, I can open the AVI in a movie software to edit and downsize it in preparation for uploading to YouTube. Alright, that basically covers everything for most arcade games. There are still a few pitfalls to be aware of though. Some games can behave strangely in the AVI output and it may be necessary to use a screen capture program after all to have any hope of recording gameplay. Another problem is that some games can get desynced during input playback. Usually this is easily fixed though by first removing the affected game's NVRAM file before recording any input. In Main Plus, simply right click the game and go Remove and select the NVRAM file for removal then begin recording your input. A word of caution about that. Do not delete the large NVRAM files of games such as the parent ROM of Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Instead, for Third Strike, use the Japan No CD version to make your gameplay movie. Good luck and have fun with it now. Thank <laughs> you.